So Throne of Liberty has joined the ranks of Amazon Games, a list of games that they're bringing over from the East to the West. Lost Ark would technically be the first game that they actually have physically brought over from the East to the West. And now we have another game to that list, which would be Throne of Liberty. Uh, thanks to NCSoft and Amazon Games partnership together, we were actually able to get Throne of Liberty to come to PC, PlayStation, Xbox Series X and S, and North America, South America, Europe, and as well as Japan. And because of this partnership, Lost Ark, New World, and Throne of Liberty is able to, you know, be pretty much a global-based game, and it helps a lot, actually. Now, I've slowly been in and out really checking out Throne of Liberty because it definitely seems like it's going to be that next generation MMORPG. And, you know, it's big news because you can definitely tell that Amazon Game Studio is essentially... You can definitely tell they're finding ways to definitely allow great games to be ported over so we can be able to play them. And Throne of Liberty, just by the actual gameplay alone this game looks amazing and i'm actually here for what they have in store and what to offer you know we had a lot of mmo sunset over the past three or so years a lot of a lot of live service games also have dropped got delayed they're no longer delayed they they released they were trashed they they're now gone but throne of liberty shows promise this gameplay that you guys are seeing looks amazing and I can't wait to see when we, you know, we actually get our hands on it. I know Lost Ark kind of had its own vibe of like, it was good at where it was at, but you know, it lost that spice when it got brought over to the Western market. And New World kind of had its kind of L really for the amount of times it got delayed. It was bad on launch. We had bad launch cues, but Throne of Liberty, we... This is, uh, I think, third time's a charm. <laughs> third time's a charm. I feel like if they learn from their mistakes with New World and they learn from their mistakes with Lost Ark, I feel like Throne of Liberty can be one of those games that we essentially can actually not just have that dopamine of like, oh, brand new MMO, play it for hours on it, and then we stop playing it. Or not like how New World where we get to level 30, then all of a sudden the game's hype starts dropping down after 30 from 30 to 60. You know, they are definitely working on it with the newer updates and stuff of that nature. But I feel like Throne of Liberty is one of those games that we got. So on the next course of the few days, I'm going to really start digging deep into Throne of Liberty and actually trying to produce a little bit more content. Because this, the more I see it, the more I watch gameplay of it, the more I hear news regarding it the more I'm becoming more invested into it. And as the outcast community, I feel like we should definitely start doing some deep dives into Throne of Liberty. So I just wanted to make the announcement with you guys today that yes, Throne of Liberty is now coming to pretty much everywhere. PC, PlayStation 5, and com well, pretty much PC and consoles. I honestly can't wait. I really can't wait to get my hands on this game. So we can definitely be able to check it out from the artwork, from the videos from everything i've seen this feel like it is going to be a game i'm checking out um ign's little take on it they saying that it will combine a story driven adventure and action combat so something similar to black desert now would it be a black desert killer that is a tough toughy to ask i know black desert's kind of been chilling off into the corner not paying too much attention to anything just kind of being itself they always dropping either a new character new story regarding everything that's going on new dungeons of the sort but will throne of liberty be that black desert killer because this definitely fits that action combat that black desert has and you know black desert's been around for quite some time so for the next generation of consoles and pcs will throne of liberty be that our go-to our new 3d action combat you know we don't have we no longer have terra and black desert's kind of Eh, uh, bless online, bless unleashed is gone of this sorts and not doing the greatest. So, Throne of Liberty, we definitely need ourselves a new generation MMO. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Can't want to hear what you guys think about it. 
Also, definitely follow me on Discord. I have my Discord link in the description below. I want to talk to you guys about MMOs and other RPGs alike. Subscribe to the channel because I'll definitely be trying to cover a lot more Throne of Liberty content and as well as other RPG related stuff as well. Like the video, helps the channel out a lot. And as always, it's been your host, Cassie TV, here at Chaotic Inc. Signing out. Peace. Rest. I'm from a hood where you die if you don't pack a vest. No culinary degrees, but whipping crack the best. Chefing, hard times taught lessons. Praying every night to pull up in park benzes. Uh, what's my home is what you call trenches. You wouldn't last a day seeing life through all lenses. Uh, it's all tension, no sun, it rain and plenty. Full time job, still can never make a penny. I ain't rapping for clout, I know the fame is empty, and it's a dangerous.